Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Welcome back to Unturned. Today we're going to do a little solo action. I'm waiting for my partner in crime, Generic B, to, uh, to recuperate from his trip to Gamescom, the big gaming convention um, that he was at for about, I guess, four days or so. Today being Tuesday, I think he just got back yesterday. So he's taking a little bit of a break, as far as I know. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to go on a bit of a loot run. So, in fact, I have a plan for today. There's something that I'm after. Something that I want to get and I have not found yet. And I would like to go off today and take a look for it. It is the very rare and very um, elusive and reclusive AK-47, or as the uh, developer of this game calls it, the Zubeknikov. The Zubeknikov. It's basically, it is based on the, uh, it's based on the AK-47, and I happened to find a savage drum for it. I found this down at the Kensington uh, campground, just down the hill. We're going to head down there in a moment, but um, it is a, uh, a campsite Right down here, apparently, it is designated as one of the militia sites. And you can uh, apparently find uh, the AK down there. I have not found the AK, obviously, yet, but I did find the drum. This is a 75-round uh, civilian-grade ammunition drum. So it holds 75 rounds. It has 55 in there currently. And the nice thing about this is it, holds, uh, it takes civilian rounds, which are much easier to find than the military rounds in, in most cases. At least they're more common. Um, so anyway, I think what we're going to do is just get prepared to go. I don't want to do this at night. I have a whole... Uh, I've got a, 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 a list of places to visit because the AK only spawns in certain spots. Uh, militia locations. There are eight militia locations where you might be able to find it. And I've got a list of those. And we're going to go through that in the morning. But first, I think what I want to make here... Oops, you know what? I'm going to need more than that. Is... Uh, I need to make a couple of ladders. Let's make... Um, I'm not sure exactly how many ladders I'm going to need. I'm going to attempt to get into a barricaded house. So I know I'm going to need some of these. Let's... Uh, well, let's make, a f let's make one more. I think that's all I have. I need nine sticks. All right, so let me get prepared. And then we're going to head out as soon as that sun comes up. And, uh, and we'll go find us an AK. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Time to roll out of bed. Ugh. Stretch him out. Stretch him out. Okay. And uh, let's do some calisthenics. There we go. Okay. It is now. Uh, it's about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning or so. Sun is still not up yet. But we do have to make some last-minute preparations here before we head out. We have a long day ahead of us, a long road, many stops to make, and I want to make sure I have everything we're going to need. We're going to travel kind of light. I put my assault rifle away. Um, I'm going to bring my double barrel. I've got a few extra rounds down here. My canteen. We've got some bacon for some food. I'm going to bring the Savage Drum along for good luck. So maybe, we'll, uh, maybe that'll inc increase our chances of finding this AK. Or the uh, the Zubeknikov, as it's called here, and make sure I have my NVGs. I do. I kind of wanted to put my, my plaid shirt on instead of my my army greens. It, it is a weekend after all, and this is kind of a pleasure thing rather than business. Um, I'm gonna bring the map for your edification to make things easier for you to see what we're up to, and we can talk about where we're headed and where we're going, uh, where we're, where we're, where we're gonna find. Hopefully this AK, et cetera, et cetera. So I think we're ready. I've got three ladders, and yeah, let's let's go. Let's shut off the fire so we don't have any accidents back here at home. The generators can be turned off now. Turn that off, and the sun is now on the rise. So our first stop is Kensington Campground. It's right down the hill here, as I had mentioned earlier. And how about, well, let's eat one more, one more vegetable. I already had some bacon before bed. So, ooh, cabbage. There we go. 
So I've got our protein. Now I've got a little fiber. Oh, there's the birdies. It's time to roll. Okay, shut that off. Save on gas. Okay, we're going to take the Roadster. Let's see how much... We've got 73% gas in this guy, so... What I like about this is it's really fast. It's going to get us where we want to go. Speedy. Speedily. And we're going to stop and get some gas later. I do have a blowtorch and an extra gas can just in case we need to make any quick repairs or fill up quickly. But I do have, as part of the plan, we're going to stop at uh, a farm and fill up the tank. Here we are. Kensington Campground. Don't eat my car, you jerk. Ooh, I hit my car, didn't I? Ooh, you got me. Now we're going to do this really quickly. We don't have much time. We have a lot of stops to make. So I might have to cut some of this out. And I'm going to be very aggressive. Oh, Jeepers and Uzi. Isn't this great? So here we are, Kensington Campground. Right there, the X. X marks the spot. That's where we are right now. My base, of course, is right up there on the hill. And you can uh, occasionally find some military or militia gear, as they call it, here at this campsite. This is where I found that savage drum. I'm going to bring that. I'm going to grab any food I find on the way. don't need a swift mag. Um, this is where I found the savage drum. I think it was right here on this bench. I thought I heard a dead chef. Um, so you can find the AK here. Oop, let's grab a few extra rounds of ammo. Oh, I already have lumberjack pants. So it's a good place to stop off and take a quick look if you're looking for the AK. Some OJ over there too. I don't know if it's any good. Yeah, you get a lot of uh, shotgun shells here as well. I wish I had more slugs though. I prefer to have the slugs. Oh, this boring shirt. Let's just break it down, make a rag out of it. Yeah, let's use that rag. Cause... That guy scratched me. Somebody scratched me here. Okay, I think we're good. All right, that's it. Let's move on. Ooh, nice energy drink. We'll bring that. I'm going to drop the cloth. And isn't that lovely? Got an Uzi right off the bat. This is why I wanted to go kind of light, because I know we're going to find some other cool stuff along the way. There we go. Let's boogie. And now... We are off to the uh, the golf course, which is right around the corner here. What's it called? Summerside Peninsula, I believe. There are three locations there where this militia gear can spawn, and that is a uh, there's a car crash on the way there on the road. Here's our road right here on the right, and um, and then the golf club itself, and then the lighthouse. Aha, okay, here's the car crash. Excuse me. <laughs> this roaster is so fast, I love it. Bam. Hello, Mountie. And we have some vaccine. I'm not even going to bother. Police car. On fire. And what do we have here? Some... Oh. Police armor I don't need. I'll take the bullets, though. Look around on this side. Sometimes you'll find stuff on this ground over here by the car, in the back of the car. All right. Doesn't look like it. Nothing in the cop car either, huh? It's dead. Um, all right. Let's get the Roadster and continue on. And by the way, if you're curious, we're right there in the map. That's where the car crash is. And get rid of that. Oh, wrong button. Trying to move fast here because I know we we have eight stops to make at minimum and uh, not a lot of time to do it. So there's the golf club. We'll come back around and take out a few golfers. Oh, geez. That is a sturdy flag, isn't it? Okay, we're going to do this old-fashioned style here. The katana. Hmm. 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 Somebody drop some bullets. Grab that. Okay, let's grab this Coke, because I can drink that right now, in fact. Ah. Let's get back over here. I don't need to walk. I don't want to walk, anyway. Okay, here we are. Uh, inside, looking for potential militia gear, AK or Zubeknikov would be nice. Or maybe another Savage Drum, or even a Savage Mag. So, let's talk about this gun. 
This uh, Zvegnikov is again, it's the kind of the uh, the AK-47 of the game, and uh, it's got semi-auto and automatic fire modes, which is nice to have that option. It uses civilian rounds, which is one of the reasons we really want to get it because it's the only it's the only automatic rifle, the only assault rifle that takes civilian rounds. Oh, Pancho. Um, it's got some a very long effective range, which is nice. It's got high base damage, you know, as much as the Maple Strike and the Swiss 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 Gower. Um, now the one thing it's got a, a, a benefit over and above the Swiss Gower is that it does have the automatic fire. The Swiss Gower does not. You know, let's grab this. I must have put that there the last time I was here. Flashlight, lever action, not so good. And let's get to the top of the lighthouse. Oh, hi. <clears throat> Another lever action, okay. Anybody else dead up here? She was just looking out over the... Ooh, what's this, a Yushanka? Warm Russian hat. <clears throat> that is awesome. Let's put it on. <laughs> well, if I'm going to get an AK... That certainly is fitting, isn't it? <laughs> you gotta have a Yushanka with your AK-47 now, don't you? Oh, Jeepers Crow! Oh, dang it. I tried to grab on on the way down, but I missed. Oh, man, I have to make a splint now. Oh, that was bad. I'm gonna have to stop off back at my, uh, my house. I have some morphine. I saw some, um, oh, dang it. Well, at least we can drive. We can still walk, it's nice, too. No damage, which is interesting. All right, guys, I am back. My uh, my leg healed up on its own, but I ended up coming back to camp and dropping off some stuff. So here we are at camp right now. We are going to head up to Montague, which is right around the bend, and we're going to go check out a barricaded house because there's apparently a, a, a box in there, a militia-type box, that spawns militia gear and potentially the AK. Excuse me. So let's go see. It's right here, not too far. And then from there we'll head up to um, we'll head up to the air traffic control tower up at the Belfast Airport. Here's the house right here. I'm gonna park this in front. <laughs> Clear out some zombies. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get up to the second floor. This house is barricaded. You can't get in from the lower floor. You've got to climb up through one of the windows. And you can do that with a ladder. You can also do it with, uh, you can pile up cars. Ooh, hi. Military Zed. So I think I tried to do that once with this car. Oh, there's just a little bit of gas in here. You know what? Let me, um... Oh, boy. Here they come. Let me back this up a little bit. And I'll use that car instead. And I'll leave it there. It's just enough gas. Put it right under that window. So let's try over here. Let's put it down a little lower. There we go. Lesson learned. Now I'm in danger. Oh, oh, <gasps> no. This. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it would be a lot harder to find. There it is. The Zubeknikov. Chambered in savage ammunition. Oh, gosh darn it. I really wanted to make a fun run today and go all over the joint. Planter track rail. It's got tactical attachment, barrel attachment, so you can put all the attachments on it pretty much. And there's our Savage Drum and Savage Mag. Oh, man. Wow. This is sweet. We've got semi and automatic fire. What else do we have in here? Lever action we don't need. Uh, battery is always nice to have. So there you go. We found it. That was a lot easier than I had anticipated, and much easier than I had hoped, to be perfectly honest. I guess I can use a katana on that thing, right? Yeah, there we go. Um, shucks. Well, we can still go do a run and maybe find another mag. Because we still have time to kill. Right? Let's, let's see. Let's go use it. Let's head up to... Um, Belfast Airport. We could go up there. 
But I think uh, I think we're better off at uh, at Alberton. Yeah, let's go down to Alberton. There's actually one other thing I'd like to do is drop off this campfire at uh, Whitshire Farm. We can fill up the gas tank so we can, can get that out of the way too. So now we're just going to head over here to Whitshire Farm. It's not too far. We'll gas up the uh, gas up the roadster, and then we'll head into Alberton on the docks. There's the SS Haven. It's a ship there. All right, here we are. Get out of the road, you ding dongs! Oh, there's my Hummer. I gotta get that thing off that fence. It got stuck on the fence, and I left it. Love my Hummer. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, getting close. Getting too close. Getting too close. Hey, let's try something. Wait, guys. Stay right there. I got a new gun. <laughs> Run over here and try it out. Let's put it on auto. Now it's on auto. And let's do it. Ooh, it's got some serious recoil. <laughs> if there's one drawback to this weapon, it is the recoil. Um. Okay, let's lower our recoil a little. Ooh. Now, it should be one headshot, one kill. Yeah. It's got a nice base damage. 81% damage or something like that. Base. Um, so, it's the same as the other assault rifles. The the Maple Strike and the Swiss Gower. They're all the same. Alright, that was nice. So let's fill this guy up. Let's put you here. They didn't hit me, did they? No, nobody hit me. Well, that was easy. I guess it was nice that we didn't have to run around in the dark, because that's never fun. You know, I've got the NVGs, but it's still kind of annoying looking at a green screen all the time. Is that the gas can down there? Yeah. All right, that should be full. So there's a small tank. All right, well, uh, let's go fill up over here. Nothing in there. Sometimes you find some stuff in the well itself. It's at number four. There we go, we're gonna hydrate. And I usually put some crops down around here too for when I stop off. Do I have anything growing? I do. Yeah, I usually will, this is part of my route, my regular run. I'll stop here, gas up, get some water, find some uh, seeds here, and, uh, and plant them. Oh, there it is, it was a fresh potato, okay. Ooh. Okay, now what I'd like to do is put a campfire down. I made this campfire for this place, so when I go on hunting trips, and my hunting trips consist of running over deer and pigs, um, I want to be able to stop here and cook them. So let's just put a campfire here. We'll light it up so we can see it from afar. Very cool. <laughs> I have to get my jack over here to get my Hummer off the fence. That's one thing we shall do someday. Yeah, let's go... Put a cabbage seed down. What do we have here? It looks like a corn seed. And we don't need a mag. Good enough. All right, now I'm just going to put this stuff down. I'm going to plant these seeds. And then we're going to go to Alberton Dock and check out the SS Haven see if we can find another drum. In fact, let's put our... Let's try... I want to shoot my AK. I love this hat. It fits perfectly. I want to shoot the AK. I'm going to put it on semi-auto. I don't have any attachments on the thing right now, so we're going to we're going to trick it out pretty soon. We'll do that when we get back to base camp. But for right now, we want to head over to uh, Alberton, which is up this way to the north. This is how I hunt, right here. Oh, tough guy, huh? All right, well, I'll live another day. Lucky guy. Whoa, rock. Don't do this at home, kids. I'm a professional driver. Oh, there's gas here, too. Here's another... Oh, no, that's not the gas tank. Never mind. My bad. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Ah! Why isn't it shooting? This is going to call the whole town to me. <laughs> well, like I said, it doesn't matter. This uses civilian rounds. I've got tons of civilian rounds. I hear somebody else close by. We'll put the uh, we'll put the drum in. We can always refill the drum. 
Uh, there you go, look at that. Civilian bullets, perfect. Now, I love this this hat, but... Oh, wait, you know what we can do? Let's get the double barrel out. Let's take the tactical light off of this. Let's put that on this guy. Let's put the tactical light on. There we go. Nice. That way we get to see in color. I don't want to switch to green. Maybe we can go clear out this... Uh, we can go clear this place out, the SS Haven, and see if it's got another savage drum. Before we do that, I would like to reload my Savage Mag. We have these bullets we just picked up. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? 30 rounds should do. I'm going to save the drum. Save. I save the drums for PvP. You know, that's when you really want it. For sustained uh, firefights. You're not going to have too many sustained firefights against zombies. So it's not that critical, in my opinion. I would rather have the, um, you know, a 75 round drum when I face off with other players. Ah, shucks. Okay, let's bring this back out. I was gonna try to preserve some ammo, but forget it. Oh boy, here they go. Oh no! I like the semi auto fire. Nice damage. Uh, you know, I just grab the bolts anyway. 20 rounds. Let's move in. This is the SS Haven right here. Right? Pretty sure it is anyway. It's a big cargo ship. And there's some military... Military spawn here. Oh, I think it's above the wheelhouse, so we have to climb up. This is the wheelhouse here. Oh, here we go. These are military boxes. Ooh, Yuri Mag is nice. Yuri Mag is for the Uzi that we found today, too. Look at that. Lovely. Double barrel. Already have one. There's a lovely hammer there. <laughs> Lovely hammer. And uh, I'm thinking about basing up here sometime. Up above the wheelhouse. Um, I don't need to eat, but I'll grab that anyway. Can't cola. Moldy taters. Let's climb up. There is a, uh, a ladder. Oops, in the back side. It'll get us up above the wheelhouse. But I'm thinking about maybe making a base up here. Zombies do spawn on the ship itself and on the dock, but I don't think they spawn up here. At least I've never seen them up here. So here's the bunk beds. So this is apparently another place for militia gear to spawn, but... Um, I've never had any luck here, so I don't know how much truth there is to that. That was on the wiki. I saw that on the wiki. You know, this being one of the places where you can find malicious spawns. But what's nice about this is you definitely have some, uh, you know, as a base anyway, you'll have some food spawns, food and, and drink, which is nice to have. And then, you know, you get some military or at least uh, weapon spawn here. And this is probably the one that the wiki is talking about. Because this is that military box. I'm thinking the AK may spawn there. Okay, it is now time to hop in the Roadster and head back home. I'm going to put my NVGs on for this for driving purposes because it's a heck of a lot easier to see at night with the NVGs. I'd love to find the military NVGs. These are the civilian style. So that's something we can do a hunt for. And I'd like to do some more of these loot runs. You know, single player loot runs. We'll come out here and we'll have a plan. I'll come up with a list of places to visit. And we'll just go do it and try to find uh, very specific gear. Some of the things that I don't have. And I imagine, you know, playing PvP occasionally, I'll lose stuff. Like, I may lose this AK, and I'll have to go get another one. And we can do loot runs in between. So I think that'll be fun. Alright, I'll see you guys at home. Hang on, we're almost there. Okay, home sweet home. Right up this hill to the right. I go right up this patch of grass here, right at the fire truck. My fire truck, by the way. <laughs> Everything here is mine, apparently. I just have to go find it. And you know what? I, that was not a good parking job. I usually park it right here next to the pickup. Good old trusty Chevy. And right about there. We don't want it to roll. It's not rolling. Good. 
Okay, let's turn on the lights, and I think we're going to trick this gun out a little bit and go give it a try. There's some things I want to, I want to shoot. I want to see if it can... I want to check out the range, essentially. I want to shoot down into uh, um, Charleston down there, which is the town right down here beneath me. Let's see if we can hit a zombie in the noggin from all the way up here. I want to see what kind of effective range my AK has. Let's just close the door. Let's put... Um, oh, I think it fell on the ground. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice. I like it. The one other drawback to this gun is the colored wood. The orangey, bright colored wood. We've got a wood stock, wood uh, foregrip, right? And a handle. Oh, I can't really see in the dark that far. Can I? I might have to wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see a chef on the road. All right. Let's see what kind of effective range this thing has. Um, you know what? Let's get up on top of my my hut. Any zombies down here? I think I already cleared this place out. Oh, there's one by the beach. Well, he's really far. He's looking for the convention. He's looking for the chef convention. He got a little lost at the campground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is this has got some good range. It's not a sniper rifle, but I tell you what, for an assault rifle, this has got good range, good power, and and uh, you know you've got the option of switching to, to auto and semi-auto. So if you don't want to carry around two rifles, this is a nice uh, nice compromise. So maybe we'll do that in the next episode. We'll go find the one of the one of the sniper rifles. I don't have one. This is the Metamorez and the Timberwolf, and I don't have either one of those. I would love to find one. And, you know, maybe we'll do that in the next episode. So, anyway, here's my, um... There it is. Let's throw the Savage Drum on there, see how it looks. Oh, look at that. 55 rounds in this one. I can fill it up with civilian bullets. Quite simply. Got a couple of boxes of it right here. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys. I think we're going to call it quits here. Hope you all enjoyed. And uh, let me know if you want more of these solo runs between the uh, episodes of Generic. So... That's the whole point of this, is to go out, get this stuff legitimate, and then bring it into the uh, server, and we'll have some PvP matches with other people. You know, we're going to lose some, we're going to win some, um, but we can always get it back here in solo runs. So, all right. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.